Hi everybody, it's Mr. D at In The Middle of Mr. D1 at blogspot.com. So I get a lot of questions about how I organize my music folders and keep them in shape for, uh, you know, during the day because the kids share the folders. So here is what I have. I have um, those two sets of folders, right? So there's one of them is um, odd numbered and the other is even. And you see I'll have them spaced every other folder uh, every other slot and I have them labeled with the numbers. Okay, so uh, that really helps. Okay, so that's the entrance to my classroom. So when the students walk in, um, you know, th this is taught to them. Okay, they know what to do. They come in and, uh, you know, I have 84 in a class. So some of them will go to this side and some will go to this side because they've been assigned their folders. All right, and then over here on the wall, I keep the list of uh, their names by class period, and you see there are marks on them. Um, and I have chosen student monitors who use this folder rubric, color-coded rubric, at the end of each class period, and they mark the folders. They randomly mark, they randomly check some. Um, they pull them out and see if they are in order. Keep them in alphabetical order. Students have to keep the music in alphabetical order, so we'll check one right now. So um, this little sticker needs to be replaced. So here, here comes the snow. Light the candles all around the world. Light up the tree. Well, Noel. Oh, Santa. Silent night. Um, yep. So this this student did really well at the end of the day. So they randomly check them, and that way the kids know that they are in the possibility of random randomly checked at all times and they I teach them when I hand them the folders the first uh, week of whenever we use them to go uh, to what is the alphabetical order we don't use the word the we don't use the word a uh, and then um, I leave about five minutes at the end of each class to uh, very carefully put the folders away now I try to move them along I call them by row and they put them up and then the folder monitors one for the uh, odd side one for the even side they come over and they just stand and then like I've taught the kids not to turn them like I make a joke of it not to turn them this way I, I call it um, you know if I see white I, I pretend that I am gonna have to take an extra pill that day to keep my nerves calm and you know um, I say I want to see the butt out which always they remember you know we we want them to keep their you know I say I look for the gold things my OCD kicks in and all of this so those are the things that I work on I'm gonna go in the other room okay so that is what I do for my students I hope that it helps some of you as you are working on keeping the music organized with the kids um, thoughtful a th a thought process you have to really think it through what you want what you need and the flow of the traffic in your room all right take care